So what I've been trying to do in my art recently is that if I have an idea pop up in my head, just immediately do it. My name is Christian Benondo. I'm a senior and a fine arts and art history major. I am currently vice president of Form Art Club here at Hofstra. We, of course, host Art Club and we help schedule out the galleries here at Calkins Hall. We also set up the annual art sale and the annual student art show. We have some help from Professor Lee who does painting and drawing here at Hofstra, but otherwise all the decision making is in our hands. So because of COVID, we haven't had an art sale in a while. We had two weeks to prepare for this, which I'm surprised that we even got everything done. All the proceeds from the art sale go directly to the students. The students make their own prices. From the club budget, we're providing them with money to be able to have their own prints made of their work. So a bunch of students are selling that. There is one student who's selling ceramics and mostly just paintings. Art for me is creating anything I can in all the time I have. For my senior project, what I'm doing is doing a painting per week. The main reason why you're making a project is to have a solution for something you're like looking for in your art or like something you're trying to gain from your art. Last semester, all I was doing was figurative work and I didn't really feel that fulfilled. It didn't make me happy. I used to have a really unhealthy relationship with paint and it used to stress me out a lot. In my head, I have had a distinction between drawing and paint as drawing being casual and paint being overly professional and sophisticated and I thought I wasn't there yet. So this semester, I've been trying to focus on painting things that may be simple. So for example, I have a series on strawberries. I just wanted to see what I could do with that simple topic and how far I could stretch it with just color, paint application like texture. You could see paint as drawing and drawing as paint and there really isn't a line that you think there should be. You just have to do what you enjoy and not stress about it and do what you feel immediately in the moment and if you hate it you could just get rid of it and paint over it again. <laughs> So I have both gallery spaces. I initially was going to just do a whole series on strawberries. Then while doing one of my strawberry paintings, I ended up making this really abstract strawberry harvest painting. And I just started continuing with those circular motifs. It really calmed me. And the ideas about circles have like associations with balance and overall wholeness. And I think that's what I was trying to figure out with my art too. I'm really making my paintings as I go. What I learned from last semester is that if I try to plan things in advance, I end up producing less results. Once I create everything, I'm going to assess it all and see what complements the other. Whatever I think just fits, I'm going to put in my show. <laughs> In the art department, what I would say is the main strength are the people who are in it. I would consider it one very big family. We critique each other's art and help each other out. We even sometimes go on group trips to Blick. Like if someone has a car, like we just all hop in one car and get all our supplies in one go. I also think that a lot of students at Hofstra feel recognized that there are a lot of people who are art majors, even though the department seems really small and not relevant compared to others. Most students don't even know that we have student-run galleries. There are a lot of great things happening here that a lot of people are missing out on. I would encourage people to take classes that are available, especially since we got rid of the prerequisites needed for taking classes so anyone could come and take a class. Next to that, see? <laughs> <laughs>